Welcome to the Literary Digest. Please subscribe to the channel or give a like and comment on this video if you find it helpful to help us reach more people. Have you ever wondered about the essence of your spiritual journey? Or perhaps you've pondered how you can navigate life's vast spiritual landscapes but without being tethered to conventional religious doctrines? Picture for a moment a journey where you draw from diverse spiritual practices to craft a life filled with meaning and connection. This approach to spirituality doesn't just challenge old perceptions, it revitalizes them, offering new paths to personal fulfillment. In this summary, you'll discover a broader perspective of secular spirituality, which invites you to blend the rich traditions of the past with the intuitive and skeptical inquiries of the modern age. This exploration will empower you to construct a personalized spiritual narrative that deeply connects with and enriches your life. Learning about this transformative approach will broaden your spiritual horizons and enhance your ability to live authentically, fostering growth, understanding, and a profound sense of fulfillment. Chapter 1 – The Inner Workings of Secular Spirituality Let's dive straight into this spiritual exploration one that breaks free from traditional confines, envisioning a life enriched by diverse spiritual practices. This is the essence of secular spirituality where the age-old wisdom of traditional religions, the intriguing depth of occult practices, and the sharpness of skeptical inquiry come together in a harmonious blend. This modern approach to spirituality won't just challenge your old perceptions, it'll breathe new life into them. Throughout history, organized religions have provided a structure and community, offering rituals that mark our journey through life as well as answers to profound life questions. Yet, as our society evolves, so do our spiritual needs. More and more people are seeking a more personal, direct spiritual experience that isn't confined by the rigid structures of traditional religions. Enter the fascinating world of intuitive practices and the occult. Here, spirituality becomes an intimate exploration of self and the cosmos. Engaging in practices like tarot reading, astrology, or meditation opens a direct channel to deeper self-awareness, allowing a personal dialogue with the universe that traditional methods might overlook. But there's more to this journey. Secular spirituality also embraces a critical, questioning mindset. In today's information-saturated age, being skeptical doesn't mean rejecting spiritual experiences, it means engaging with them more thoughtfully. This approach encourages you to seek evidence and question the foundations of your beliefs, grounding your spiritual experiences in both authenticity and rationality. Now, think about how you can integrate these elements into your life. Secular spirituality invites you to craft a unique spiritual narrative that resonates with your values and experiences. Whether it's finding meaning in nightly candle rituals traditionally rooted in religion or seeking guidance from the stars, you define what's spiritually significant to you. And with a skeptical mind, you ensure these practices are meaningful and grounded, enhancing rather than detracting from your understanding of the world. By adopting secular spirituality, you're not discarding what's sacred, you're redefining it on your terms. You're empowered to craft a spiritual experience that is more personal, powerful, and profoundly yours. As you continue on this path, consider what mix of traditional religious practices, intuitive methods, and critical inquiry could enrich your spiritual life. How might these elements help you grow and understand more deeply? And remember, the path of secular spirituality isn't only about finding the right answers, it's also about asking the right questions. What questions will guide your spiritual exploration? Chapter 2 – Embrace Rituals for Meaningful Living As you delve deeper into your spiritual journey, let's shift focus to the transformative power of rituals and their essential role in crafting meaningful lives. Think of rituals not as strict structures dictated from above but as personal touchstones, intricately woven from your experiences, values, and aspirations. These practices anchor you amid the daily flux, offering precious moments for reflection, joy, and connection. Rituals are truly the heartbeat of human experience. 
They guide you through life's changes and can be as simple as enjoying your morning tea in quiet solitude or as vibrant as participating in a community festival to celebrate the changing seasons. The true power of rituals lies not in their grandeur but in their ability to infuse your daily life with purpose and connection. By aligning your rituals with your values, you establish a life rhythm that solidifies your identity and what you hold dear. Think about how rituals mark life's significant milestones, births, weddings, and farewells. Here, rituals offer more than tradition. They provide a framework to process emotions, celebrate joys, and share your sorrows, transforming these landmark events into profound communal and personal experiences that remind each of us of our shared human journey. But it's not only the monumental moments in life that benefit from rituals. Your everyday life can be enriched by them, too. Simple acts, like lighting a candle, can transcend their routine nature. This act might be about seeking light in darkness or about bringing warmth and clarity into your day. Such rituals infuse even the most ordinary activities with deeper meaning, helping you live more mindfully and connectedly. What's more, the beauty of rituals lies in their evolution. Just as you grow and change, so too can your rituals. They don't need to be static. As your beliefs and circumstances evolve, so do your rituals, allowing them to stay relevant and supportive as your life unfolds in unexpected ways. This continual reinvention of your rituals ensures they remain uniquely suited to your personal journey. Take a moment to reflect on the rituals that resonate with you. What new rituals could you introduce to enhance your daily routine? How might these practices help you navigate life's challenges and celebrate its joys? The effectiveness of rituals isn't about their complexity but their relevance to your life. They serve as tools for deeper living, connecting you to your core values and the broader human experience. As you continue forward, embrace the art of creating rituals. Pause, reflect, and forge deeper connections in a world that often prioritizes haste over depth. By weaving meaningful rituals into the fabric of your life, you create a richer, more vibrant existence. What rituals will you craft to anchor and illuminate your path? Chapter 3 Balancing Spirituality with Feminine Wisdom now imagine a world where spirituality embraces both the masculine and the feminine equally, where the historical narratives of your spiritual practices reflect not just half the human experience but the whole. With that in mind, let's explore the rich world of the divine feminine a journey through time and belief that challenges you to reclaim what was once lost. For centuries, the voices and experiences of women in spirituality have been sidelined, marked as secondary, or altogether forgotten. Think of the ancient goddesses once revered across diverse cultures figures of wisdom, creation, and healing. These figures, like Athena, the Greek goddess of wisdom, or Sarasvati, the Hindu deity of knowledge and arts, weren't just symbols of fertility or beauty, they were potent representations of intellectual and spiritual power. Yet, as societies evolved and patriarchal structures took hold, these rich narratives shifted. The roles and representations of these divine figures were minimized, aligning spirituality with male-dominated perspectives that shaped and sometimes distorted our understanding of the sacred. This shift wasn't just a transformation in deity portrayal but a fundamental change in how we interact with and interpret the spiritual realm. Today, there's a growing awareness of the need to reconnect with the divine feminine to create a more balanced and holistic spiritual practice. The goal is not to replace one system with another but to enrich our spiritual environments, including all voices and experiences. It's about recognizing that the traits traditionally categorized as feminine like intuition, empathy, and nurturing are as essential to our spiritual growth as those often labeled as masculine. By reintegrating the divine feminine into your spiritual life, you'll both revisit ancient beliefs and acknowledge and honor the role of women in spirituality today. This recognition helps heal historical oversights and brings you closer to a spirituality that celebrates the full spectrum of human experience. So, as you reflect on your spiritual journey, consider how you might incorporate elements of the divine feminine. Whether through the stories you read, the practices you adopt, 
or the deities you honor, each step you take toward this balance is a step toward a more inclusive and complete spiritual life. Chapter 4, Life's Inherent Absurdity Now let's venture beyond the confines of defined religious practices and grand narratives to something profoundly personal, creating meaning and purpose in life from the ground up. The quest for significance often leads down paths illuminated by grand tales and structured doctrines, but what if you were to embrace life's inherent absurdity and find joy in crafting your own narrative? Understanding how to forge a life teeming with personal significance, without leaning on the crutches of preordained truths, begins with facing the existential void acknowledging that, perhaps, there's no preset purpose waiting to be discovered. This realization isn't a descent into nihilism, it's a liberation. It invites you to paint your own canvas, to find beauty and meaning in the personal and the mundane, and to live authentically, according to values you cherish and define. Consider the example of Albert Camus's philosophy of the absurd. Camus argues that life might inherently be devoid of meaning, yet he offers a rebellious response, to live with defiant joy despite this. He suggests that the journey of creating personal meaning is akin to adding color to a blank canvas. You navigate this not through despair, but through a vigorous engagement with life, a celebration of freedom that comes from constructing personal significance. This approach to spirituality and existence is deeply transformative. It encourages you to peel away the layers of societal expectations and to question the narratives you've been handed. Instead of traversing a path laid out by others, you carve your own, using tools of introspection, creativity, and personal growth. The aim isn't to find the meaning of life in a general sense, but to imbue your own life with meaning that resonates with your deepest self. So, as you reflect on your spiritual and existential journey, ask yourself, what values and passions drive me? How can I weave these into the everyday fabric of my life to create a narrative that's uniquely mine? By embracing this perspective, you redefine the essence of a purposeful life, one not given to you, but created by you, rich in fulfillment and resonant with your individuality. Remember that the pursuit of personal meaning isn't a solitary journey but an invitation to engage deeply with the world around you, to find harmony in personal relationships, and to express yourself authentically. What paths will you explore, and how will they shape the tapestry of your life? Forge ahead with intention and joy, crafting a life of profound personal significance. Chapter 5, Self-Transcendence In a quest for spiritual growth and personal fulfillment, people often seek paths that promise to elevate their souls beyond the mundane. In this final section, you'll see how embracing both human flourishing and self-transcendence can profoundly enrich your life, offering not just personal satisfaction but a deep connection with the broader tapestry of existence. Human flourishing involves nurturing your inherent potential, embracing creativity, and fostering relationships that enrich your life and the lives of those around you. It's about stepping into a space where your individual pursuits harmonize with the collective experience, creating a resonance that uplifts all aspects of your being. At the heart of this journey is the concept of self-transcendence a leap beyond the self that Viktor Frankl and Abraham Maslow identified as the pinnacle of human development. This isn't just about achieving personal goals, but about transcending them in favor of something larger than yourself. It's about connecting with something greater, whether that's the human community, nature, or the universe, and finding your role within this grand scheme. Self-transcendence enriches your life, providing a wellspring of joy and fulfillment. It invites you to participate in life with a sense of purpose that goes beyond personal achievement, to contribute to the welfare of others and to the world in meaningful ways. Embracing the path of self-transcendence and human flourishing involves actively cultivating qualities such as mindfulness, compassion, and altruism. These practices help you transcend personal achievements and engage more deeply with the world around you. For instance, adopting daily mindfulness exercises can enhance your awareness and responsiveness to life's experiences. Similarly, practicing compassion can start with small steps like volunteering your time or simply offering kindness to others, without expecting anything in return. These actions foster a sense of community and shared humanity, which are essential for personal growth and collective well-being. 
Think about how each choice you make can reflect a deeper connection to others and contribute positively to your environment. Engage in activities that bring joy and meaning, not just to yourself, but to others, such as participating in community projects or initiating supportive gatherings in your neighborhood. Remember, the journey towards self-transcendence and flourishing is a communal endeavor that enriches everyone involved. What actions will you take today to embrace this transformative journey? Final Summary The main takeaway of this summary to No Nonsense Spirituality by Brittany L. Hartley is that secular spirituality offers a unique blend of ancient wisdom, occult practices, and critical thinking, providing a fresh perspective on spiritual exploration. This approach encourages a personal and direct dialogue with the universe, untethered by traditional religious confines, and it champions the idea that true spirituality involves questioning and personal discovery. By integrating these diverse elements, you're invited to redefine what is spiritually meaningful to you, ensuring your practices are both authentic and grounded. Rituals can be important in crafting a meaningful life. They can anchor you and infuse your daily routines with purpose and connection. Whether it's through simple daily actions or significant life events, these rituals help you navigate life's challenges and joys, evolving with you over time. Through secular spirituality, you're empowered to forge a deeply personal path that enhances your own understanding and connects you profoundly with the world around you. This journey isn't just about finding answers but also about asking the right questions that guide your spiritual and existential explorations. Thanks for listening. If you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe to the Literary Digest for more videos like this one. And don't forget to leave a comment below and let us know what you found most helpful. Until next time, Keep striving for success.